This video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. I love cereal a lot, but I recently realized how insanely bad for you it can be. But then I found Magic Spoon, which to my surprise has 0 grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, 4 net grams of carbs, and only 140 calories in each serving. This blew my mind. I was like, what? This stuff tastes so good and it got no sugar? That's like, magic. Magic Spoon, yo. They got great flavors like cocoa, frosted, fruity, and peanut butter. Cocoa is my personal favorite. It tastes like other junk brands, but it's actually nutritious. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low carb. It's almost too good to be true. If you want to try Magic Spoon for yourself, you can get $5 off any order at magicspoon.com 24 frames or click the link in the description and use my code 24 frames. And Magic Spoon said to tell you that, hey, if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. So click the link below and use code 24 frames or go to magicspoon.com 24 frames to save $5. Music. I love music, and I love to sing. As you can hear right now, I have an incredible, beautiful voice. My favorite song to sing is Creep by Radiohead. It's a beautiful, sad song with great lyrics. You know, I'm, I'm a creep, I'm a weirdo. It's, it's, it's so good, I love it. Now particularly, I love to imagine sad songs like this being sang by animals. I love thinking about a lonely, drunken baboon singing Elliot Smith, or a giraffe with a short neck singing Weezer. Now, what if we animated this? What if we got insanely big voice actors for every animal? And ooh, what if it was done by the people who made minions? They're they're incredibly talented. Well, then you have the movie Song. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, I mean, Sing. Sing. It's it's a movie. I'll, I'll tell you that. It's a movie I've avoided for a really long time, but only recently could not stop thinking about because of my friend Weston Corey. This is his favorite movie. Now, Weston, you've caused me some torment. You've caused me to lose sleep at night. I literally sweat thinking about this movie because, well, it's just singing animals. It's just singing animals, man. I hate this movie. I sincerely despise it. It's just not even realistic. Animals can't sing, like what? But not only do I have my friend saying this is his favorite movie ever, but my own girlfriend, my own girlfriend thinks that the gorilla is hot. I'm jealous over a singing gorilla. Why does this world torment me so? Sing is a 2016 final will and testament written by me. It's a product of Monkey and Corporate. It's just an AI-generated focus test group to be as marketable as possible. And now there's a second one coming out. Torment comes in pairs, folks. Torment comes in pairs. This movie is an agonizing, ear-bleeding tragedy. It's like if you went to a musical on Broadway, and every time they sang a new song, they just stabbed you in the gut. When Illumination first created this movie, when I saw the trailer for the first time, I was like, this was already a movie, wasn't it? Because it feels unoriginal. It feels fake. There's nothing separating this animated movie from anything else. It fits in the standards of society and simply just passes by by being something like a lip-sync challenge for celebrities, or the mask singer. Except, at least those aren't taking up up spots in a movie theater and throwing up trailers and posters in my eye every single second. We all know Illumination is universally hated, with their cheap animation styles maximizing profits only. They have access to so many means of creativity leading for insanely mediocre movies at times. They pump out animated movies like Mental and rarely does it ever feel like they put time and effort into a story. I mean come on, this is an anthropomorphic animal animated movie. It's a world filled with talking, singing animals, and what is special about the world? World that is animal like. It's just California. It's literally just California. Like, for example, you have a whale swimming down what, like, those California bridge, lake, river things, whatever. And that's it. It's just a whale swimming down water. It's it's not special. It's not like a special whale transport area. It's just a whale in water. Zootopia came out the same year and had specific animal world building and motives of transportation. Y'all couldn't have, like, just tried? And, like, I'm not saying to rip it off and do the same thing, but you have to know that you're making an inferior project. Like, does it cross your mind at all?
Let's dive into the movie, the agonizing artificial movie made by BuzzFeed Quizzes from 2014. It begins with a shot of some theater with this goat lamb, whatever the heck, I'm not a biologist, singing a song by the Beatles. Goosebumps, oh man, chills, I love the Beatles. But this sets us up to meet this koala dipshit. He is a narrator of the movie, the main character, but also not. He doesn't always narrate, he only narrates at really the beginning of the movie. Yeah, he, he just narrates sometimes. I don't know why they have him narrate at the beginning and nowhere else, but you know, that's it's a creative choice, I guess. He's going to be the driving scummy force behind this movie. He likes theater, but he has money problems. He takes loans and he writes fake checks. Dude, just like, I don't know, get a Raid Shadow Legends sponsor. People love when you do that. We see him run from his office to avoid people, and then he gets on like a big bike. Now, this is a joke for all of you lame brains. This is a visual joke showing how small the koala is on top of that bike. If you couldn't tell already, this this is a joke right here. It's, it's so bare bones. Like, then you see a rhino directing traffic. What's the gag in that? What is the gag in this? Why not a bird which has like more FOV with its eyes? You can do something funny there. In this intro, we also see all of our main-ish characters. Once again, we see some rhinos as cops eating donuts what's what's the gag here what is the gag come on you're starting your movie like this and you don't even have a visual gag you have a very very obvious donut holder in a form of a horn and you couldn't even think to put the donuts on the rhino horn come on that would have been cute that would have been great we meet the hot gorilla guy I, I hate this guy I hate him already then we like fast zoom to this mom who's like the overworked mom she's singing Katy Perry and how she's like feels thin and on the verge of breaking but baby she's a firework work. We obviously know which character this appeals to. It's, it's the mom people. We then fly fast to some hedgehog punk singers who obviously appeal to like the teens. Then we meet some elephant shy girl with no confidence, but her family pushes her. We, we know that kind of character too in real life. But you know what? You know what pisses me off here? That this elephant, this elephant guy right here, takes a bite of cake with the spoon and doesn't use his elephant trunk to grab and put in his mouth. They they shouldn't even have utensils. These elephants shouldn't have utensils. That just, just stay in the logic of the animals, man. Oh, sure, he blows the candles out with his trunk right after, but come on. These are animals. All these characters are animals, right? Or am I just visually impaired? With the pig mom and the hundreds of kids, why isn't there like pig gags of eating through troughs and stuff, you know, like for all the kids? No, they're just eating like normal kids on plates in a table. Come on, and this is boring. That's so boring. Honestly, why are they pigs? For the punk singer hedgehogs, why are they hedgehogs? What does that matter for the music? What does that matter for literally any? Thing. And then the elephant stuff, these mofos are so massive in this tiny house, y'all couldn't do anything visually in that scenery at all? It's just so half-baked. And the gorilla, what, what, what's special about him? Come on, what's special about him? Yeah, I'm, I'm asking my girlfriend here, what's special about him, huh? Tell me. It's just all barely thought out and boring. I forgot to mention the gangster mouse who like, who makes jokes like, pick on your own size, you know, because he's, he's a tiny, he's a tiny man. That's it. That's, a, that's the only joke. We go back to the koala trying to put on a singing competition. His assistant, Gecko, whatever the fuck, makes flyers for his singing competition, but puts the wrong prize on the flyer. Oh no, he can't pay that. Oh no. I'm worried for this koala who has no character at all and we barely know anything about and isn't relatable in any single shape or form and we honestly just don't care about him. I mean, none of these characters are truly relatable in the story or anything. They are only relatable in the same way that a GIF is relatable. Now, all of our characters get these flyers. It's their shot at some big moolah, man. Some big, big money, man. The next day, everyone in the city wants to be in this competition. We get that funny fat pig from the trailers. It's funny because it's a fat foreign pig who's energetic. That's that's it. That's the joke. That's the only joke you get for him. This entire audition scene is terrible. There's actually no reason for any of this to be a movie. Why is this a moving picture with sounds and voice actors? This would literally be a perfectly adequate comic in the Sunday funnies. If you can get the experience on the same exact level of humor as a comic strip as a multi-million dollar animated movie, that's failure. That is failure, and I'm gonna be honest. I do like when the buffalo steps on and murders a snail, maybe just because it satisfies my lifelong quest to step on Stuart Little, and I can just imagine that the snail is Stuart Little. Mm. Oh yeah. Anyways, uh, most of the characters that we meet pass except the elephant girl. Koala realizes that his prize is accidentally bigger than what he wanted it to be, and he just continues with the audition anyways. Oh no, what's he gonna do? I hope he dies. I, I honestly hope he dies. I hope the animals get very angry and start eating him and tearing him to shreds limb from limb. Oh, now that would be a good movie. So now we just start to follow the gorilla guy, really. He's the only guy that really has a character. He has a lot of criminals in his family, and he just wants to sing. He's like Troy Bolton if he replaced a basketball 
football with armed robbery. This whole sequence is just showing how each character is dealing with getting prepared for the competition, but the gorilla guy is the only one that has any actual story progression. And you do have like 30 seconds of some fun visual gag with the mom where she makes like a contraption to help the kids go to school and stuff. And looking at this, I'm like, wow, wow, Illumination, you put more than five moving parts on the screen at a time? That's, that's pretty impressive for you, I'm not gonna lie. But like I said, the only one that really gets character here is the gorilla. He's the only one to really care for. So you could literally just throw out every other character in this movie, but if you did that, it wouldn't be as marketable like the trailers. And honestly, the movie would be dramatically better if it just followed him and only him and not every other focused test group created relatable GIF characters. But, but you know, that wouldn't be as marketable in trailers. There are very slight parts of the gorilla story that I do like. And like the dad, mainly for his voice, I guess, where he's like, and like I, I like the voice. I just like the voice. But another thing that pisses me off is seeing where the pig mom sleeps. Oh, it's just a normal bed you can buy from rooms to go. That's it. Like you can literally use this asset in any other illumination movie if you wanted to right no need to make it creative or pig related in any form or make it just a little cool looking it's just a normal bed and that makes me so mad i can't even explain it it's 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 so stupid the irs soon visits koala and threatens to take his theater we then see a lamb swim and the joke here is that the lamb is wearing a speedo that's the joke nothing lamb related or anything or just something funny on screen no it's just he's wearing a speedo why why are they animals? Please, someone answer this. Koala's next genius idea is to visit the rich lady to get some money. You know, she's the pretentious rich lady who loves the arts of theater and would rather get her skin ripped off her bones than participate in the funding of Koala's competition. But Koala convinces her to give it a try. They all start performing their planned acts for the first time and they all suck. Losers, man. Meanwhile, Gorilla Boy's family gets arrested because he didn't help them get away. He made his choice to start singing and and then his dad gives him the mean words. Oh man, he gives the mean, mean words. Gorilla then tries to steal the supposed money to impress his dad, but while doing it, he sees the audition seat and how talented he is, so he doesn't actually steal the money. God, that's such a boring, terrible way to have character have some introspection. Come on, you seriously can't be any more creative than him seeing some random picture in the office? But wait, relatable pause. Yo, relatable movie pause. Mom goes crazy in the shopping aisle and dances to a song. I guess this this is her own introspection, you know, but she's just that mom that wants to break free. Very relatable stuff. Oh, every mom can relate to this. As you can tell, the movie has absolutely no idea what it wants to do until it gets to the singing competition. There's about 40 minutes of a chunk here until we get to the singing competition because the entire section of this movie is considered too movie-like. With the competition, they can just have licensed songs and whatnot, but with the rest of the movie, they have absolutely no idea what to fill the time with. Then we reach a point where like mob bears come and try to take money from the mouse gangster but the mouse gangster is like yo no just take the prize money from the koala just take the money but then the koala is like no oh my god there's no money oh my god what am i gonna do this eventually leads for everything to break the whole theater crumbles and crashes killing all the animals they all drown it's true they all get crushed by rubble it's beautiful gorgeously tragic ending for this movie anyway there's no theater anymore which sad and sucks whoopie do fucking grow up they just rebuild the stage in three seconds afterwards it, I don't, there was no consequence to anything. No consequence for the koala in learning that he has no money. That's no, no, no consequence. He still has the same theater, technically. They all come together and become genius carpenters to rebuild this thing. And then the competition finally goes underway. Gorilla's dad sees his son sing and he's like, that's my son, that's my son. And then he just breaks out of prison. It was, it was that easy, literally that easy. This is an animal society where they have so many strong animals and they just got normal jails normal jails no gorilla specific strong reinforced jails no come on please something in this world just be animal specific anything please please illumination i know sing 2 is already coming out so it's too late but when y'all make sing 3 please please get me to write it please uh, get me on your team i promise i know what makes an animal thing funny i mean i used to watch america's funniest home videos it makes me an expert on funny animals come on so the entire competition happens i mean come on you know what you know what's happening hey guess what the hedgehog is a small gag it happens her quills just like fly everywhere that, that's that's kind of a visual gag we kind of got something animal specific from this one animal oh my god so no one really wins the competition in the end yeah no, yeah that 
I mean, that's kind of bullcrap, man. I waited for the winner this whole time. Terrible. I came here for winners. The rich lady then buys the theater, and I guess all of the people are like Koala's friends now for some reason. Why do they even care about him? He screwed them all over. And he has no consequence. There was no learning, no nothing. No one in this movie had an arc, learned something, or anything. Not even Koala. Koala was completely fine in the end, three seconds after his big mistake and twist. I'm just genuinely shocked. I am shocked. He sucked. He sucked, man. And that's Sing. That's the movie. That's the animal movie that has no point even being about animals. I can sing better than these animals, man. I'm much more talented than these losers. You hear my voice right now? It sounds beautiful. I have a, I have a great <coughs> voice. You can chalk it up to jealousy that I'll never be as hot as the gorilla, but whatever, man. I don't care anyways. I don't care. This is a terrible, marketable, relatable movie. I mean, there's nothing original about anything here. Even the end credit song sounds like The Simpsons. You, you hear this? Whenever this movie has anything original that it has to try to do and not just play licensed songs, it struggles so insanely hard. The animation is so bare bones and boring, and for an animated movie, there is absolutely no reason for it to even be animated. This movie was just made to sell the soundtrack. I know it was. It was literally just to sell covers of songs by actors and actresses. That's all it was made to do. It would have been a much better movie if they just recorded real animals and then like moved their mouths to lip sync with songs. I would buy that movie ticket opening day, man, I'm telling you. I honestly can't believe there's even another one coming out. But then again, I guess I do, because this is just so marketable and so relatable. The only way to stop sing movies from coming out is to stop music. If Sing has no more music to sing, then they'll stop making them. We just need to kill music. It's very simple. Then they'll be forced to die if we just get rid of music. Together, me and you can stop Sing. And then we could stop this gorilla. We could stop him from being so dang hot.